All right, yo, what is going on, everybody? As you can see, guys, we are back on the camera for you guys today, guys. Today, we're going to be doing another tutorial video. Um, I've actually seen this problem occur to a lot of people, and they can't really figure out how to actually solve it. So, this problem is containing 5M, guys, with GTA 5 and recording and streaming, like, 5M on OBS and something and stuff like that. Uh, people cannot seem to actually get it to work with their game capture on um, on 5M. So, I'm going to show you guys how you can actually uh, record your games and stream your 5M games with the game capture. Because when you guys actually stream um, stream or record uh, 5M with game capture on, it will be a black screen for some reason. And people would have to use display capture. And display capture can cause your game to lag. So, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can fix that. How you can actually get 5M to display in game capture. So, let's get straight into that, guys. Let's go. And to prove to you guys that this is actually real. So, as you can see, guys, you guys you see i do have my obs open up right now i have my display capture on right now so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hide it and i'm gonna show my game capture and here we go i'm gonna click on 5m and then as you guys can see guys uh you can actually see that this game capture is actually displaying my 5m so i'm gonna be showing you guys how you can actually do that okay guys what i want you guys to do is to open up 5m once you guys do actually have the 5m app open i'm just gonna want you guys to join a random server it doesn't really matter just so you can change your settings in the game so I'm just going to join this RSM free roam uh, server. It's not really an RP server. So I'm just going to join it just so we can change the settings. I'm going to show you guys how we can actually display 5M on your game capture. All right, I actually joined a different server just because I couldn't join that server for some reason. But as you guys can see, guys, now we are now in GTA 5, guys. So I am doing display capture right now. And as you guys can see, at some times, the game my, or my uh, display capture will start to lag. Just like right here, guys, you can see it's a little bit choppy right now. So... Just by changing this one set setting, it should allow you to actually use um, game capture for 5M. So, you're going to want to do, you're going to pause the game, go to settings, go to um, graphics, and then you're going to want to go to your, your main graphics right here. So, what I want you guys to do, guys, it's basically this setting right here. So, some of you guys' default might be on DirectX 10. What I want you guys to do is attain it to uh, DirectX 11 because what that allows you to do, it allows it for um, GTA 5 to actually share to OBS. I don't know why, guys. I had it on DirectX 10 and it wouldn't let me share with Game Capture 5M. It's so weird, guys. So what do you guys want to do is switch it to, to DirectX 11. And with DirectX 11, guys, it is a little bit more, um, it like kind of makes your graphics look a lot better. So as you can see, guys, my video memory actually goes up a lot more. So if you guys do want to, just turn down some of your settings that you think you don't really need. Um okay i don't know why my game just tabbed out for no apparent reason <laughs> so yeah just change the graphics that you don't really need up like to very high just because if you don't have a really good computer just because directx 11 can actually like a higher graphic setting and it and uh yeah it might drop your frames a little bit so yeah just to change whatever you want to change over here guys with your texture quality your shader quality whatever you want guys but i'm gonna show you guys that, th that um this actually does work and it actually won't work for directx 10 so right now i'm on directx 11 i'm actually on display capture right now so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna turn off my display capture so now I have it off, and I'm going to turn on my game capture right now, guys. And I'll show you guys uh, how, how much smoother it looks when you guys walk around, actually. So I do have my game capture on right now. And as you guys can see, guys, I have game capture on right now, and it's it is buttery smooth when it's actually recording. It's amazing, guys. And then as you can see, guys, when I tab out, it will tab out, and it'll be a black screen, and it won't show my, dis uh, my display capture. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm actually going to switch to DirectX 10 and show you that it doesn't work for DirectX 10. So let's do that right now. Alrighty, guys. Now I am on DirectX 10 right now, guys. I actually just switched it. Let me show you guys. In the settings, you go to graphics. Now I'm on DirectX 10. I'm on my display capture right now, so it's still going to capture. But my frame rate is so much lower, and my game just feels a way more choppier. So when I um, alt tab out of the game, I'm going to switch over to uh, game capture as you can see right here guys game capture three i'm gonna hide this one i'm gonna turn on game capture it's still black screen and when i open the game it's not gonna let me capture it so as you guys can see guys you guys can actually hear my game right now i'm tabbed into it and it's still black screen guys so as you guys can see guys directx 11 will only work for this uh actual thing so what so what you guys got to do again is just to go to your settings and change your game over to directx 11 so so what you guys want to do again is go to um settings graphics and then change it to directx 11 and then game capture should work for your gta 5m hopefully this helped people that actually do stream 5m or something like that that were having this issue if you guys um did enjoy this video if this helped make sure to give it a like subscribe if you're new to the channel turn on that post notification bell and i'll see you guys in the next one guys peace out everybody